All right. Hi, I'm Rob. This here is Default Cube, and today we are going to continue complaining about wheels and how they're getting made incorrectly. So now in my last video, I went over the basic shape of a wheel. They're round. You can watch that video if you want, but we pretty much just summed it up. Now in that video, I showed you how to make a round wheel nice and quick and dirty like, but it is a little jagged. So in this one, we're going to do the barrel a little bit cleaner. And we're also going to take the time to do the face of the wheel and the tire. So this video is probably going to be a bit longer because I'm too lazy to edit. However, I'll try not to ramble on too much about stuff. First thing I'm going to do is import a couple pictures. So first, I've got the main diagram that I was using yesterday. Default cube, would you excuse us? I'm going to create a collection. Call it ref pick. And I'm going to put a yield empty in there. And this is going to be full. And I also took the time to get this one going. So we can do just the center on its own. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. There we go. Snazzy. All right, that's reference pictures. Now we're going to go bring in our reference circle. All right, there we go. I circle. And today we are going to make, yesterday we did a 17 inch rim. So today let's do a 16 inch rim. So we're gonna bring up our calculator. I've already got him ready to go as well. And we're gonna multiply 16 by this here number. And that'll convert it down to meters. And six. All right. 0 0.4064. Now that's going to be the diameter. So we divide her by 2 and we get u. And we're going to take this value. That's our radius. We're going to plug it in right there. Now our reference circle is nicely set up. We're going to bring in our reference pictures again. Whoop. I'll take a deuce. We're going to select them both. And we're going to scale them down. Oop, now it's upside down. Poop. All right, let's try this again without flipping it. Zoom in a bit. And go to about smaller than that, buddy. All right, about there. All right, it's looking good. good Make sure this one's good this one's actually off a little bit all right that's good that moved Not like I'm trying to get perfection here or anything. Okay, now we got that. We get rid of our circle. We're gonna bring up default cube, buddy. You're too big. Call you wheel. Start a new collection. And call that wheel as well. And change wheel. New barrel. That's what we're gonna make first. Round part. Round part's called the barrel. Let's make a barrel. So I just hit tab. I'm gonna hit A, then I'm gonna hit Alt, then I'm gonna hit M, then I'm gonna hit at center. I'm gonna leave it in edit mode because we wanna keep our center of gravity here. And we're gonna move a little liney up to there. We're gonna go in with this. Everything can be adjusted once it's made. 
Now what I've found through experimenting between yesterday and today, so you want sharp edges here, not beveled edges. We're gonna do, uh, yep, that's all good, that's good. We'll do this, try to put that to the center, then we're gonna take this straight across to try to get that in the center. And then we'll terminate it since we're here. And we have that. We're gonna take this one straight down. Do about the center. All right, then we're gonna go straight across here. Do about there. And across to about here. And we'll bring it all the way across to here. Since we're here, and F that. Use bad boy over. We have bad boy over. We lined up. Play effect. Okie dokie. Now finish this one. And then we'll F that and get rid of these two. And hide the picture. Looks good. Object mode. We're here modifiers. We're gonna screw it. We're gonna screw it on the x-axis. We're gonna set 32 steps on the viewport, as well as the render. Of course, you don't need to set it to 32 on the viewport, but you do wanna bring it up on the render. Makes it look nicer. Now, I don't know what Stretch UVs does, but I click it. That's a nice barrel there. Default cube, you've never looked so good. We'll apply that, Let's bring it out. Check it out on edit mode. Looks snazzy dazzy. Let's align it to that picture. Bang. Oh, it looks like we missed it actually. Ever so slightly. So in knowing that, we're gonna have to adjust this picture accordingly. So we'll get that into position. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, everything's all screwy now. Right. Object mode. That's what I want. This guy. To move. Right to there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. We're gonna hide the barrel. We're gonna hit seven again. And now we wanna do this part here. So we're gonna bring in default cube's second cousin. And we're gonna hit Alt, we're gonna hit, or no, that was tab, then A, then Alt, then M. And we wanna move. There, back to edit mode, back to edit mode. Where's my grabby do, thingy bob? Well, that's why I'm not in vertex mode. Go to vertex mode, check this out, now it works. All right, quick note, don't be in face edge select mode when you want to select vertices. And we're going to go up to here. You know what? 
that's going to be the face. We're going to give this a negative offset. How's that? Let's do that. Oh, wait. I want to do that in object mode, though. So I'm in object mode. I'm going to give you... Not much offset. Perfect. Let's go back to center. Let's go back to edit. Chipubi. Now, we're going to pick this up. And go back to all of this. EY. Straight down. Uh, do I want to put that bubble away? Yes, I do. Alright, zoom in a wee bit. <laughs> Bring that down a little more, and I'm gonna go E over I. I'm gonna go EX. This would be the hole for where uh, the wheel stud goes, and then this would be the center of the hub. I'm not going to do the center of the hub. I'm just going to do this part of the face. We're going to come back to the center of the hub later. Because, wouldn't you know it, the center of the hub has to be designed exactly the right way as well. Whether you're doing uh, four bolt lugs, five bolt lugs, or a center lug, no matter what, it's all standardized. You got to do it right. It needs to be positioned correctly. Your bolt holes need to be exactly right. Or else some nitpicky old fart like me is going to come along and say, well, that just doesn't look right, Sonny. EX again. All right. Now, you know what? Our wheel is going to maintain this shape for now. We can always sculpt it later or something along those lines. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. Mm-hmm. This guy and this guy. We're going to F that. Has that been f -ed? It's been f -ed. We have to. Good. Whew. All right. Reference picks. Done. That looks pretty. Let's put that up against the barrel. That doesn't look so good now. Take the center. Let's go to object mode. Yeah, no, it still doesn't look quite right, let's screw it on the x-axis. Absolutely beautiful, we're going to do that. 32, because that looks even better. 32. Now, you have the face of your wheel exactly set. Okay, we set our offset exactly perfect. Okay, this could be flattened out. All right, that's a matter of uh, Topology, not my area of expertise. I'm a mechanic. This is what wheels look like. That's how you make your wheel. Look at that. See, we got a nice relief. This is where your hub can go. Now, I actually don't have the picture called up, so let's... And we're going to apply that since we're here. We're going to hide our wheel for now. I'm going to reference pictures. We're going to check that out. And I have a picture right here. No wheel dimensions. Room width. Positive offset. Not offset. Image. No, that's not image. I have measure wheels. No backspace. It's not it. It's none of them. Is it this one? No. There's some uh, interesting information about the wheel if you want, though. Known as your wheel face. Okay, you see where you're measuring your diameter. Bang. Bang. Okay, not from the rim lip, it's from where the tire mounts. And this is your mounting pad, that's where it sits up against the hub. Okay, 
This is mounting pad. Car side is the hub. And this is where your uh, wheel studs go. Now, I used to have a picture of wheel studs. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Next, we're going to bring in a tire. So I'm going to go back to Now, our tire fits right inside of here, so let's bring in default cubes, uncle, and this is uncle cube, adding uncle cube, welcome to the party, we're going to hit tab, we're going to hit A, we're going to hit alt, we're going to hit M, we're going to collapse you to the center, and we're going to take Uncle Cube, just the vertex, definitely in edit mode there. Double check, triple check. Now, this is where we're going to do a little freehand. This is where our tire is going to sit right there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, no time to mess around. I mean, this part's the easy part. We'll just go straight up. All right. All right. So that's going to be the lip of our tire. We're going to go straight across here for symmetry. We're going to go straight across here for symmetry. Dabbing here. Alright. Let's zip zip. Alright. This E X. And there's the dot. tire. We're going to F that. Make sure it's lined up. It's not. Still not. Calling it. That's good. Okay, we're going to get rid of this one and that one, but just not yet. Now. There's a way to mirror it. I don't know how to mirror. Cause I'm a dummy. So I'm gonna just freehand this. Okay, if I select all of this, then add a modifier, then mirror. I would want to mirror the y-axis. Yeah, I don't know how to use the mirror yet. So, freehand it is. <clears throat> so now, tire wall. It's going to extend out. past the lip a bit because we're going to make some nice little pros here and then we're going to go straight up but we're not going to go too high that'll do and we're going to go straight across yeah 
this up later now. Close enough. Have that. Bring her back home. Eh, good enough. And we'll get rid of these three. Now that is an ugly tire. See, I should have taken my tire diagram and traced it, but I just freehanded it because I want this really ugly low profile tire to happen. So we're gonna go with the ugly. Um, get that up. Think. All right, here we go. Object mode, modifier, screw on the X. Yeah, that kind of looks like a tire, doesn't it? Let's clean that up. Clean this up. And render it as is. There we go over here to edit mode. Now that doesn't look too bad. But it could look better, so let's make this look a little bit better. First thing, tires aren't flat. So let's take one of them. Then we're gonna put one on this side, one on that side, and then we put one on this side, one on that side. And we're going to now select only the interfaces. Yoink. And shoot. Choo -choo. Oh, tried to get away. I'll show you. All right, that's all our interfaces. So now we're going to go over to here to scale. I'm going to scale that up. Oh, it's all balloony. Too much. Let's bring her back. Let's bring her back. Oh no, wrong way. Too much, too little. All right, because we're going for a nice little low profile. I'm gonna stick with that. Now we're gonna grab all of these. Whoops. Let's go from down here. Oh. Oh, it does it again. You know, my backwards eyes can't see. You know, it'd probably help if I just got rid of the scale thing. What is that, a widget? Is that what we call those? Angled deals. All right, let's scale you up. Hey, now that looks like a freaking tire. Mm hmm. Eh. I'm just gonna bevel that. Mm 
Whoa, no, I'm not gonna do that. Hmm. Let's bevel this side. No, let's. I'm not gonna be able to get an edge loop around that. Am I? Oh, look at that. And does that look a little better? Not really? It's still too hard right here. That side's nice and soft. This side's all screwy looey. Where'd I screw up? Hmm. Whatever. I'm going with it. It's good enough. Wheel, tire, combo. Let's clean that up. Yeah, I don't know what happened on this side, but whatever. There you go. Wheels and tires, my friends. That's how it's done. Please do it this way from here on out, and you will have absolutely perfect wheels and tires. When you're editing, this gets all your work right so you're gonna do all your spokes or your whatever pattern you want then when you set it into position in your barrel remember that it only sits oh wait object mode here on these faces or no that's these ones the ones that come in so the face of your wheel sits on this part of the barrel. Thusly. Right into there. That's where you can get your offset from. Okay, and then you can change your backspacing as well by moving this part of your pad in and out. And when you're doing your bolts, okay, you're uh, either going to do a five bolt pattern or four bolt pattern. And you can look up the bolt patterns on how to do that correctly. Wheels and tires. This side looks awesome. This side looks like poop. Awesome poop. Awesome poop. Looks like casting marks, eh? All right, we're done. Oh, that looks terrible. Ooh, that's too much. Okay, I'm done. Thanks for watching, if you watched.